Cleaning, restoring, and sealing your driveways, pool decks, walkways, and patios. Seal and Lock is an all-in-one-day application. I think you'll find this video educational as well as entertaining. First, we must pressure wash the area to be sealed. Please notice the use of a surface cleaner. This will provide a more thorough and even cleaning as compared to a pressure washer with a wand. Make sure that you use an overlapping method to ensure the surface is thoroughly cleaned. At this point, you can use the wand to rinse the area to be sealed. Before wet sanding the joints, remove enough of the old sand between the paver joints. Always use a low pressure wet sanding nozzle as shown in the image above. And add sand one eighth of an inch below the chamfer edge of the paver. Notice the appearance of a properly sanded joint. Sand should be one eighth inch below the paver surface. Here we see improperly sanded joint. Over sanded joints will not seal properly. Open the container using a razor knife. We are mixing a two gallon kit of super wet, but five gallon kits are available as well. Always use proper eye protection when handling seal and lock sealers. Next, remove the can of Part B from the pail. Then, remove the pail separator. Part A is in the bottom of the pail. We now stir in Part B into Part A. Two gallon kits come in a three gallon pail and five gallon kits come in a six gallon pail. Make sure that when you mix Part A with Part B you mix it thoroughly. Now you must combine equal parts sealer and water into a larger bucket. Stir the mixture and purge the sprayer until the sealer flows freely. Remember, the seal and lock system is safe for vegetation and it's non-toxic. Apply liberal amounts of sealer to stabilize the joint sand. Stabilizing joint sand is as important as the aesthetics of the pavers. This sealer appears milky when first applied and dries clear. Make sure that you apply the sealer in consistent, even coats, slightly overlapping each coat to avoid dry spots. Notice in the five minutes of elapsed time how the sealer has dried clearer. Now we see an elapsed time of 15 minutes. A second coat can be applied immediately.
and the cleanup is very simple. Our products easily clean up with only baking soda and water. And here's how that's done. We add one and a half pounds of baking soda with three gallons of water and mix thoroughly. Then we run three more gallons of fresh water through the sprayer a minimum of three more times. Your sprayer will be clean when the water runs clear. Here's our before and after shots. A before ceiling and after ceiling. The difference is spectacular.